I am the special projects director for the festival this year, and I've been in charge of super cinematic events. And what we've been seeing are a lot of different people uh, doing work that extends the experience of watching um, the moving image on the big screen. It takes it out of that context, for example, a gallery context where um, you know, there are sculptures that use a moving image, there are projection pieces and so on, and it's a different experience to um, interact with that type of a space. It was very rich uh, visually and left a lot of, of, uh, of room for the viewer to project uh, his or her own thoughts onto what was, was happening there. The supersonic screen uh, shows are a good example of um, this live performative element um, that we're seeing here this year. And I think what happens uh, when you have somebody doing a live performance is there's a different kind of energy that's created with the audience and in the space. Everybody brings like a, diff a real different flavor to what's happening. We had Ken Butler who makes um, instruments out of found objects. Um, he has done some work where he projects films and videos that he's made himself behind and, and uh, provides the soundtrack. Here we had Josh Rosenstock from Chicago who did a, a performance uh, called Duet for Alto and Tenor Television. Um, where he has created this um, mixing board that allows him to mix video as a DJ would mix, you know, sound. Okay, the shenanigans, when they did their performance <laughs> in the theater that, um, that night, we had Julie Meets, who uh, is an artist from Detroit and has been doing uh, live video performance work. And so those guys thought, hey, let's get Julie to plug her camera in and we'll project that while we perform. Part of the art of it is matching the mood and, uh, and of course being in sync and sometimes not in sync depending on, you know, the flavor. The shenanigans and Julie and myself and Jason Engling. And then we have John Hudson who is Technovision Detroit and DJ Bob Moyer. We're all gonna be doing the closing party at the Firefly Club tonight. It's called the Eyeball Earhole Confederation. Really, I try to immerse people into kind of more of the fantasy and the fun of, of the situation. Um, it, I explore it quite a bit through uh, curved screens or other devices. Um, multiple imagery in the room is definitely a must because the more that a person has to look at, the more that they can take in. Uh, it's spontaneous. You just go at it. Uh, you listen to the music and everybody's going to be jamming at the same time doing their own visuals, almost like a DJ, but DJ, and we'll all be sharing screens. I'd like to compare it to jazz, at least where, uh, you know, improvisation and thinking on your feet compositionally is important. I was talking to George Manupelli, the founder of the festival, pretty recently about what was the spirit of the early days of the film festival. The picture that he painted, along with others who I've talked to, really, you know, I think there was a lot more room for spontaneity, you know, and I think that is some of the life that we're seeing this year in the festival.